Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here for another driver spotlight here on the channel. We are in an E36 staring down a virtual drift championship banner. So we're going to be getting into that here today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of which are found in the description box below. So today we are taking a look at Colonel Mustard's E36 for the Global Drift Series. This car is definitely uh, got some very big wide fenders in the back and the front. E36 definitely an awesome uh, car. I see the pizza wheel in the back. We got the Lexan window with the cutouts for the smoke displacement. Definitely a really cool model. It's a very simple but very effective car. I believe there's going to be a livery and stuff on it um, come when Global Drift Series is open. So... We're going to be taking a look at this car today. Going for a rip. Big thank you to Colonel Mustard for allowing me access to his car to give it a rip here for today's driver spotlight. So, uh, let's do it. So, we're at Circuit de America here in the E36. This thing is loud. Bog that a little bit. All right. So, we can hit the tires and we're going to go full send. And, of course, you know, we're going to be taking the car to... Irwindale to end the episode off. We always take the cars to Irwindale. We got this going. I think it's loud. And that uh that idol? Definitely a crazy idol. So we're gonna go full send and see what we can do. Third, fourth gear, flick in. Really tight on that inner clip, bringing it out to the wall. Sorry, dude, I kind of wall tapped your car on the first run. Hope we don't mind. In that clip, a very big slowdown section in there. And bringing it out across the line. So not a bad run for a first rip in this car. I will uh, take that run for a first rip. The car is definitely very stable. I like, it's got a lot of body roll, which I kind of like. I like how the car kind of squats on acceleration right there. Wow, that could, that's a huge squat. Can we get a can we get a view of that squat? Oh, rug air. That squat is massive. I love when a car has, you know, some awesome suspension characteristics. And we got that pizza wheel in there. So it kind of makes sense on why the suspension squat, you know, squatting so much from pizza wheel from, I believe, Chelsea Denofa's RTR Mustang. And go for another full send and see what we can do on run number two. We'll try not to knock his car into the wall this time. I like the blue color. I believe he's running it in all black. The car does have a few color options, but I like I'm liking the blue. Kick it in. Try not to smack the wall this time. Brought it out. There we go. Oh, didn't get all the way out to that touch and go, which put me way short on there. Very big, dirty e-brake grab. That is not the run we wanted to take. So we're going to hop back to pits, give it another go. Because this car is definitely a very stable car. Very soft suspension setup. It's a very simple build. You know, it's not this crazy, you know, wide body or crazy car. It's a very simple E36 with bits and fenders to, you know, go with the bigger wheels and everything like that. And, you know, I could appreciate the simplicity of it. And this thing rips for sure. Oh no! Hit that, yeah. A little bit offline there. Hold that out. I hook this in, try and get the inner clip. And pull the car out. So, not the smoothest runs, but for sake of, once again, just getting behind the wheel of all these different cars and getting a chance to feel everything this is definitely awesome so big thank you to colonel mustard for being part of the discord and also giving me the uh the keys or push button to his global drift series e36 definitely uh going to be continuing this driver spotlight series here on the channel everybody seems to be liking it i'm enjoying doing it hard flick there that's way offline we can try to recover that line a little bit. I think that's the better line we needed to take to there. Just a wall tap towards the end. 
So I think we're gonna switch it up, head to Irwindale, see what this car can do on Irwindale, and uh, hit the high bank and see if we can uh, get a solid run on the bank of Irwindale. So we are just basically running this on a base tune. We have not changed anything, so we could probably be changing it up a little bit, getting a better handling, but for off the rip, this car is very stable, handles very well. So let's see what we can do here on Irwindale and see if we can uh, tackle the high bank. We're gonna heat up these uh, rear tires a little bit. So we're gonna go full send and where we're currently at, 100% boost. Force gear pop. Little quick e-brake grab there. So much squat. Oh, too deep into the wall. Should have uh, broke a little bit to not go into the wall. And I think we have some rear suspension damage. Car is not, did not snap how I wanted it to. I'm sorry, Chrome Muscle. We may have broken your car. I will fix it for you. I apologize. Luckily, uh, damages is not too severe because we're still, uh, still going to go full send. All right, see if we can get the bank run and not whack ourselves into the wall. That squat on the bank is crazy. Uh, went a little bit too, too cocky on that, but I think we got it. Just a little wall tap on the inner bank. but more than capable of handling the bank. I just, like I said, I love how this suspension squats on this car. This car is a blast to drive, so big thank you to Colonel Mustard for giving me the opportunity to get behind his Global Drift Series E36. And we're gonna go full again and try not to stall out gears. Stay in boost. Clutch kick, quick e-brake flick. That's much better up on the bank. Stretch it out. Came off a little early, but... Throwing it hard into the inner bank. Dragging bumper. Oh, yeah. This this car rips. He's got a very, very dialed base tune on this car. Like I said, I haven't changed anything on it. This car is so good. I like it. I can get down with it. I do you like how the car sounds and everything like that? Definitely can get down with this car. It's a very uh, simple yet effective E36. So we're going to go try a full hard initiation flick and see if we can't do that hard flick. Oh, that was way harder than I wanted to. We got to try that again. That was almost. Almost okay, but I think I went a little bit too hard. I just need to let the car oscillate itself up into the start of the bank. So we're going to go one more rip here for today's episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. That's better. A little clutch kick initiation. Much nice higher on the bank. Right where I want to be on those hashes. Quick transition. Oh, this is the run. This is the run. Just one wall tab. Ah, oh, two wall tabs. It kind of threw us off on that inner clip. If it wasn't for that second wall tab, I think we would have been perfect. So once again, again, a big thank you to Colonel Mustard for hooking me up with his Global Drift Series E36. That'll do it here for this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. As always, I like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.